Hi, I'm Hunter Allen with your Thursday tip. You know, in a recent video, I just talked a lot about CTL and what CTL means, chronic training load, in terms of understanding what your optimal training load is. Now, there's also a metric that's really important in power training called training stress balance, or TSB. What it is is we take the chronic training load, we subtract out your acute training load, and that difference is what we call training stress balance. It is essentially freshness, and fatigue, okay? So how fatigued you are, you're, when the, your training stress balance is a negative number, that means you're fatigued. When your training stress balance is a positive number, that means that you're more fresh, okay? When it's zero, it means you're neither fatigued nor fresh, you're in balance, so to speak. Now, it's difficult to play with the training stress balance and we need to find some, some norms, so to speak, and we have done that. When Dr. Coggin and I came out with uh, the second edition of Training and Racing with a Power Meter, we queried 300 different athletes and asked them, what was your best? You know, what was your training stress balance when you had a best? And so we got lots of different answers. Some people had a personal best when they were negative 30. Some people had a personal best when they were positive 30. But generally, they were probably positive 15 to around negative 5, negative 10 in that range. And that gave them a best performance. And that could have been one minute, five minutes, 20 minutes, 60 minutes, or whatever. There's a big variety in terms of what is good for you. And it definitely takes a little bit of time to understand that. But we do know that the more fresh you are, most likely you'll have a better performance. You get too fresh, right, and you lose fitness, your fitness goes down. So in that range, zero to 15 is a good place to start. So if you want to make sure that you're fresh and ready to go for these races and have a good performance, make sure that your training stress balance is in that range. That's a good place to be. How, how negative, how deep can you go? That's a different question and much harder to determine because it could be the fact that you know, you may do a training week, a long training camp like we have here in Bedford in April. We always have this huge training camp where we get a thousand TSSs, uh, mountains and all the stuff and it's really amazing, but it's a big, acute training load and it pushes your TSB really negative. Could be negative 50 by the end of the week. Now, you, you're gonna need a rest week after that in that case, right? A really sharp, acute load of training is going to make sure, make you rest after that. However, maybe you're really trained and that training load is normal for you. So it only brings you down negative five, negative 10 or something. And it's like, well, I can just handle this for a long time. So negative numbers are a little more difficult to play with because you need to understand a little bit of the history of what's happened before that and how much load you hand, you're currently under and how much you can handle. So there's not a hard and fast rule as closely aligned with the negative as there is the positive numbers. So just keep that in mind as you look at training stress balance. Training stress balance is an important piece of the performance manager chart and power training because it absolutely allows us to understand what is needed for you to create a peak of fitness? What's optimal for you? And it does, it does take a little bit of time to get that to there, but at the same time, it is a really important tool. That's a little bit about training stress balance. I'm Hunter Allen, Peaks Coaching Group. Check us out on Facebook, like us on Instagram, all that stuff. We've got some great tips on there and some really fun things we do. Come one of our camps. We've got some great camps. We'd love to have you. Thanks a lot.